Hey how's it guys? In this video, I'll show you how to make your file public in Google Cloud Storage. So when you first upload files to Google Cloud Storage, you'll notice that uh, your files is going to be a private. So let me just give you an example. So here in my public demo bucket, I have a CSV file that I want to uh, make that public. If I simply grab the uh, authenticated URL and I open a private browser, if I paste the link, it's going to uh, ask me to uh, log into my account. Now to uh, make the file, in this case, we're going to call this object because in Google Cloud Storage, everything is an object. So to make this object public, we want to first of all, make sure that the bucket has the uh, correct permission to allow each object to be uh, shared publicly. So I want to go to the uh, top level of the bucket. Here, let me go from the uh, main page. So I'm going to select the bucket that contains the files. On the top, we want to click on permissions. Now here we have two options. We can either make this bucket public, which makes all the files uh, public accessible. And to do that, we want to click on add. In the new principles uh, field, we want to set that to all users then want to choose a row. And for the row, I'll recommend that you use Cloud Storage Object View. So if you go to Cloud Storage on the rows, it should be the last option. This one here, Storage Object View. And it's only give users uh, read-only or download-only access. Then you can click on Save to make all your objects uh, public available. Now in this case, I only want to make a single file uh, public available. So under access control, I'm going to click on switch to uh, fine grain. And from the uh, control option, I want to choose the second option, fine grain, and save. Now going back to the file that I want to make that uh, public accessible. Now let's say I want to make this a uh, BigQuery CSV file, public accessible. Now, if we look at the public URL field, it's showing not applicable. We want to click on edit access and click on add entry. And from entity one field, we want to choose public. Now on the top, you're going to see a message. Uh, this object is public and can be accessed by anyone on the internet. Now save the setting and you're done. Now, if we look at the public URL field again, and here's the uh, download link to download the CSV file. So I'll go ahead and open a private browser and I'll paste the link, enter, and this will prompt me to save the CSV file. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.